I'm Stephen Quiller. I have been living in the mountains of Colorado and painting full time since 1972. I paint mainly landscapes of this region, including the mountains and meadows, rivers, streams and waterfalls, tree patterns and cliff forms. I'm best known for my approach to water media. This includes transparent watercolor, gouache, acrylic, and casein, and also my development of color theory and how it best can be used by painters. To date, I have written six books and countless articles for artist magazines on these subjects. My two books on color are Color Choices and Painter's Guide to Color. I have always had a strong interest in color. This includes the color palette and mixing, various harmonious color relationships and color schemes, and color for mood and to express. When I was in school, I took a color theory class. We had a basic primary and secondary color set of tempera paint plus white, and spent the semester doing color charts and mixing grays. The grays were not close, and there was no connection as to how this could be used by the painter. Artists that read my books say they are visual people and get so much more once they physically see me paint and hear my voice. Then all the color choices make sense. I want to convey and document my breadth of knowledge that I've developed over the last 40 years. Keep in mind that my approach is based on close to 200 years of color theory. The concepts are not new, but I've taken it further. That is the reason this video is so important. I have fine-tuned the color wheel, located artist colors in order to have harmonious mixes of analogous and complementary color, and demonstrate how to mix true and beautiful neutrals. I show how color theory can be applied and used for you, the artist. Each chapter is broken down into segments. First, I will present the subject for the chapter. For instance, mixing neutrals and semi-neutrals. I will introduce the subject, show charts that explain the color scheme, and do a diagram of the color relationships. Then I will paint some studies applying the color theory. I then will show a couple of my finished paintings that use this color approach. Lastly, I will present three exercises that you, the artist, can do. Although I primarily work with watercolor, the information in this video can be used by the artist painting in any medium, including oil and acrylic. It is my hope that you immerse yourself in these presentations and complete each chapter's exercises, and in the process, your own color will become more personal and exciting. Good luck and let's get started.